Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Geminis. Let's see what's going on with you guys in love and relationships. Let's see what's going on between you and the person that's currently on your mind, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember, only take what's yours, leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, I do call in the Holy Spirit. I call in the white light that guides us. I call in the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. Let's see what's currently going on with my Geminis and the person that's currently on their mind. This is going to be for Gemini and the person that's currently on their mind. What's, let's see what's the energy. Show me spirit. Choices. The other. Love story. Healing. Okay. So you guys, I feel like there's an energy here of you and your person getting through something. For a lot of you guys, I'm getting an energy of you and your person getting through something where there's somebody else in this energy. That's a big energy. So we have love story. A true love story never ends. Let's start a new chapter. So for some of you guys, you and the person that's currently on your mind right now, present moment, man, y'all may have been going through some things. Like y'all may have truly been going through the thickets, but y'all still love each other. There's still a lot of love there. We have the other the other person I'm seeing is influencing my decisions. Some of you guys could definitely be dealing with somebody in a third party. Like somebody here or there could be somebody else. I just got for some of you guys, it could definitely be a mother figure, even a sister figure. Like there is somebody else that's influencing this person. For some of you guys, you could be in separation with your person right now, present moment. And there is a family member or a third person that is interfering with you and this person reconciling. That's a big energy as well. We have choices. Trying to make the right choice so I don't have regrets tomorrow. Like somebody is trying to make the right choice, but somebody somebody has somebody else in their ear. But it's not that this person doesn't love you. It's not that you don't love this person. But I feel like there's someone else in this energy that's in either your ear, your person's ear. There's someone else in this energy. Yes. And this could be a family member. This could be a, another. This could be a lover for all, like really and truly. But there, there's, there's energy here. There's definitely, definitely an energy here. It says healing. I'm healing those parts of me I avoided for so long. So I feel like there's one of you guys that's trying to heal from the heartache and from the pain that the other person has caused. Somebody, Gemini, whether it be you or your person, somebody's caused somebody a lot of heartache and pain. And like this is like an energy of somebody trying to pull themselves together, trying to heal their heart. But also, this is an energy of somebody still wanting to fight for this connection, fight for this love. This is a love story. This is like somebody has some true, true feelings. And I feel like it's not just one-sided. There's a mutual energy. But there's fear on one side and there's heartache on one side. But there's still an energy of like, I want to fight for this. I do, I do want this. I just don't know what to do. There's a real, real big energy here. Yeah. Show me spirit. Show me what's the current conflict. What's the current challenge between my Gemini and the person that's currently on their mind? What's the current challenge? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Why am I hearing like, for some of you guys, you could even have a family member that'd be like, that's not your normal type. Like for some of you guys, there, there's an energy here of like, you could have really this person that, that you love, this person that loves you may not be the normal type, may not be your normal type. You may not be this person's normal type, but this is like opposites attract. And that's the current conflict. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. 
Like for, for a lot of you guys, the energy here, whether it be you or your person, the current conflict is that it's like unrecognizable. Like I don't recognize this person. I'm not used to the, this behavior. I'm not used of this response. There's a real big energy here of like somebody really and truly not being used to what, what they're getting from the other person. The other person's behavior is odd. It's different. This person may look different from what you're used to. This person may come across this person may this person may be totally different from what you're used to but there's something there so whether this be for you or your person there's something there that's holding a special place in the other person's heart there is something but i'm getting there is somebody else in some of you guys ears whether this be you or your person there's somebody else here that's influencing this and for some of you guys it's like somebody here that's yapping and doing a lot of yapping there's an energy here of like somebody really and truly doing a, a lot, a lot of yapping. Yeah. Show me spirit. Let's see. How does my Gemini feel about this person? How does my Gemini feel about the person that's currently on their mind? Show me spirit. hermit virgo energy some of you guys can be dealing with a hermit a virgo <laughs> um with the moon you find this person to be withdrawn and secretive gosh you find this person to be extremely withdrawn and extremely secretive yeah you find this person to be very intellectual very intellectual very spiritual for some of you guys that's what's the difference for some of you guys, that's what that's the feeling of the difference. Like for some of you guys, this is like somebody here that's awakening you to spirituality, somebody here that's awakening you to a different perspective, a different point of view, a different way of living. That's the difference. For some of you guys, you find this person, this for some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody here that even prays for you. You're dealing with somebody here that even prays for you, but there's 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 like this is somebody here that's kind of they don't really show their true feelings. They don't, they're not really mushy. They're not really like overly emotional. This is somebody here is like pulling teeth to get them to say, oh, I love you, to show those emotions, to show the feelings. But you know they're there. You find this person to be extremely secretive. Extremely secretive. You find this person to be like, there's there's almost a fear of not being able to trust this person. Why? Because there, there, there's an energy here of somebody not really and truly letting you in. That's kind of what I'm getting here in this energy. Like someone here that's not cr truly letting you in. This could be a Cancer, Pisces, or, or Virgo. Yeah, not really and truly letting you in. No. Show me spirit. How does this person feel about my Gemini? How does this person feel about my Gemini? Knight of Wands, they find you to be in it. Oh, gosh, you give this person a headache. <laughs> but that Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy with that Five of Swords, like, man, there's some conflict here. Like, for some of you guys, this person finds you to be unfaithful. For some of you guys, this person finds you to be unfaithful in and out of their life, Five of Swords. Like, oh, you give this person a headache. <laughs> like, oh, this person finds a lot of challenges that come with you. There's a lot of like being a kind of stubborn, trying to win at all costs. Very argumentative. This person may find you to be very argumentative. And I feel like this person feels like the arguments come when you want your way, when you want to get away with doing something that is not what's up. There's an energy here of like trying to get away with something that's not what's up. And I'm talking about like somebody here that's working on somebody's nerve because they just want to go do what they want to do. And it's like, okay, go ahead. Go do what you want to do. <laughs> I'm laughing, but it's not funny. I'm laughing, but this behavior is not funny. <laughs> There's a real, real big energy here. There's an in and out energy. There's a lot of conflict, a lot of arguments, a lot of like, I'm going to win at all costs. It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter what you want. I'm going to do what it is that I want to do. There's a real, real big energy here. Yeah. For some of you guys, somebody feels like there's other people involved here. Somebody may truly know that somebody has choices. There's a real, real big energy here. There's a real big energy. Yeah. What's the potential outcome between these two, Spirit? What's the potential outcome? I just heard for some of you guys, it's gonna take it's gonna take somebody a long time to heal from this. To really and truly for this to come together or for somebody to heal from this it's gonna take a while it's gonna
going to take a while. Seven of Pentacles. So I see you guys trying to work on this. I see you guys, like somebody feels like, oh, I've invested time and energy into this. Oh, no. <laughs> like there's an energy here, the hangman, a shift in perspective. There's a shift in perspective here. Strong Pisces energy. Strong Pisces energy. Like somebody's here, somebody's like, I've invested time and energy into this. I've, I'm invested. Like it's going to take a lot of work. Yes, but I've, I'm like, this is like somebody praying for the other person to come around to get their shit together. This is like somebody here that, you know what? It's like, they're different than what I'm used to. There's a big energy. Like so, the person that the other person is dealing with, like, is like, they're different from what I'm used to. But like, I'm going to pray for them. I'm going to stay. I'm going to see where this goes. I'm invested. Somebody's invested. There's a real, real big energy here. Someone's invested. I feel like your person's invested in you, Gemini. I feel like this could be your person. But you know, you can flip and switch this energy however you see fit. However you guys see fit. You can flip and switch this energy. Yeah. Let's see. What's your advice, spirit, for my Gemini? And the person they're currently dealing with. Hmm. Life is a series of constantly shifting, shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Somebody's resisting this relationship, this connection, because like somebody still wants to live in their old ways, the out, outdated, out of style. Like, but the thing about it is what I'm getting here in this energy is like somebody here really and truly, if they let go of that, trying to hold on to old ways, outdated ideologies, they would really enjoy it. They'd really embrace it. They'd really like it. There'd, there'd be a true transformation in life. It says, go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. And I feel like for some, there's there's someone here in this energy, somebody is trying to just kind of go with the flow. Somebody's really and truly trying to be understanding of the other person. Because I'm getting an energy of like they know the other person is not used to this way of life. So this is somebody that's being patient. This is somebody that's trying to be understanding. There's a big energy of being patient and understanding with the other person. Yeah. Look at that. It says new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So I do feel like for a lot of you guys, there's going to be, if you're separated with this person, if you're going through some things with this person, there's going to be a change. There's going to be a new perspective. There's going to be a new beginning. Somebody has to be patient. And somebody here has to let go of old ways. Old ways old ways of thinking, old ways of acting. <laughs> like there's a real big energy here. <laughs> All right, my loves, that is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Until next time. Bye guys.